Hello everyone. In the previous video, we built a decision tree model, a basic one, and then submitted its result to Kaggle. And as we know, it didn't really yield that nicely. What we're going to do now is use the train test split method of sklearn so that we can split the data set in a much more better way rather than a random way that we did it in Excel, right? So that way we can build much more better models. So quickly what I'm going to do is just going to replace this part of it where I imported each of these data sets individually and then made the train and validation data set. I'm going to use the sklearns train test split package to basically do the splitting here. So what you're going to essentially do is instead of doing the train validation and sub, you know, the submission test, you're going to basically take the train set and then divide it using the train test split of sklearn within Python, right? So that's the change that we're doing here. So let's go ahead and look quickly look at that particular change. And also just to be mindful, I'm going to take the 891 rows that are available here, right? So I've combined all of the data sets here. If you want the links and the data set for this particular video, I'll put a link in the description section below. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. Now I've basically taken a copy of the one that I had used and the quotes are pretty much going to be the same. So I'm going to import pandas. Now this time I'm just going to import 891 rows, the train data set, right? This is what is given by Kaggle. So I imported that and saw one of the rows there, right? You have the 46 columns that we modified with Excel and extracted with Excel, right? So then we have the test data set. Now this is what we need to submit to Kaggle. This is the 419 rows that we have there, right? The different step that we're going to do here is instead of having our X train and X validation here, what we're going to do is define all the X variables within X, Y variable within Y, right? So if I run this, and now what you're going to do is use the sklearn model selection train test split package and then split the data set, right? Now in this, I'm going to get four data sets, the X train, X test, Y train, Y test. Now we've used X validation, Y validation, X train and Y train earlier, but from now on, this is the right way of using the data set. So we're going to use it into train and test and we're going to call the test set that Titanic provided as submission test. So if I run this, uh, it basically created these four data sets here, which will be used for modeling going forward. So from sklearn tree, I have taken decision trees. The process is the same here where I take a decision tree classifier. Now this time I'm going to take the X train and Y train for building the model, build the model. And as you can see, like the previous one, it's going to be overfitting this model, right? So I'm just going to overfit it and let it go. Now, again, the feature selection method is also going to be, uh, feature importance method is going to be the same. So that's the method there. And then this time I'm going to evaluate the test data set. So instead of saying evaluation of validation, I'm going to say evaluation of test. So if I run this, that's going to be evaluation of test. And then my X test is this particular row here. I'm just going to take one of the samples there. Now I'm going to use the predict method to predict on the test data set. Now I've taken the classification report also and the classification report is against the Y test and the Y prediction, right? Now both of this was created with the sklearn test train split and this is the Y test that we're going to use to compare it with the predictions that we made. Right. So if I run that, you're going to see that it's 0.76. And as I can already guess that this is going to be a bad match because we overfitted the model and the test score is not really great. Right. So what we're going to do is not going to submit this for a uh, two Kaggle, but I'm just going to run this entire piece to basically mark a completion of how we do things with test train and split. Right. So just to repeat on the test train split, what we did is we created the X train, X test, Y train and Y test. That is by taking the train data set and divided into, into four pieces so that we can build the models on the train data set and test it on the test data set. In the next video, what we're going to do is use the grid search method along with decision trees 
to get a better model that we can upload to Kaggle. Thank you for watching this video guys.